Welcome back everyone for a death defying Cobra Kai season five watch party. With the drop of the latest trailer, all the excitement is on Chosen and Terry Silver. And darn right it should be. These guys are both badass. Since the ending of season four, people have been wondering, will Chosen fight Silver? They gotta fight, right? It definitely seems to be in the works. It's something the fans want to see, and remember, the biggest fans of this show are the three guys who are making it. You can bet they want a Chosen and Silver fight as well. So the question becomes, if they fight, who wins? Most people say Chosen. He's been training all his life. He's badass and ready to rumble. That makes sense and you can't argue with it. With the second movie and season three, the show has already established Chosen as a serious karate master. So that part of the character development is done, though we may get a badass training montage early in the season. However, from a basic storytelling perspective, you know that Chosen can't be an unbeatable immortal god. He has to be beatable, vulnerable in some way. The audience has to think he could lose so that the fight is suspenseful and exciting. One way to establish that is Chosen could actually lose a fight early in the season. Maybe the gas on the fire burns a little too hot, so to speak, and he's hit in a way he's not ready for. Now, I'm not saying that definitively, it's just a possibility. Either way, somehow the narrative needs to establish the rivalry and fights between them as epic and unpredictable. But that's not ultimately why we're here. As the title implies, I'm wondering and think it's quite possible that maybe Chosen dies in season five. Now, a few things up front. I'm not the first person to float this idea of Chosen dying. Peter from Cobra Kai Companion first thought of it way back even before season three. Second, and what a lot of you are saying is, I don't think it necessarily implies Chosen gets beat so badly in a fight, he succumbs to his wounds. While there can be a story case for that as we'll get to, that's not what I think will happen. Chosen is in the perfect position to have an extremely honorable death, fighting alongside Daniel LaRusso. But first, let's back up and look at why if anyone in this show is going to have a heroic death, Chosen Taguchi is the right man. It starts in Karate Kid 2. He was an angry bad guy with attitude. He was ripping people off and after being exposed, got into a big fight with Daniel. He had a knife to Kumiko. He was brutal and cruel. No fucks were given. He felt dishonored and would take that out on the one who did it. Except Daniel beat him. And then Daniel showed mercy. That was new to him. We learn in season three that Chosen felt great shame after the fight. He had to live with what he did. We also learn Sato gave him a second chance. But for all Chosen did with Sato, including carrying on Miyagi-Do, Chosen never felt like he atoned for what he did. This line is the most crucial. Regret is sometimes difficult to overcome. Now let's look at Chosen's mindset when he says that. First off, realize this is after he sparred with Daniel and even taught him the pressure points. That's important because it shows that this afternoon together wasn't Chosen atoning for what he did. It was just a friendly afternoon of sparring. This is what leads to this epic moment. The creators have said Chosen was willing to come on a moment's notice because he still felt regret from Karate Kid 2. He still felt like he had to reclaim his honor. To do that, he needed to help Daniel in some significant way. And this is it. He is going to help Daniel take down Cobra Kai. Now, as we saw in the trailer, he is not backing down and is committed to that promise. And I am gasoline. And also here. Hey, whoa, no, 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 I didn't. What this is showing is Chosen is all in. If a deadly situation were to arise, he will not hesitate to take that risk. You remember what honor means to Chosen. Live or die, man. Die. Chosen was willing to die there because he felt like with no honor or disgraced honor, he had no reason to keep living. While he obviously has been trying to make amends, it stands to reason he may be just as willing to die now in season five for that same reason. It is how he can be fully redeemed and regain his lost honor. Also, as Peter pointed out, 
He's set up very well as someone who could die. So, you married, kids? No wife, no kids. Obviously, if he had a wife and kids, they would be devastated if he died. This way, it's not like he's leaving people who depend on him behind. He is free to sacrifice himself for honor. Note this is similar to how Tommy was portrayed in season two. The show implies Tommy doesn't have any immediate family who depend on him, such as kids. Now that we know that Chosen would be and is willing and ready to die for honor, the next question is, does it make sense for the show to move in that direction? Now I imagine the first instinct for many of you would be no. Though upon reconsideration, we can see both the show and series have been there before. Obviously in Karate Kid 2, Chosen was ready to fight to the death. In Karate Kid 3, Mike Barnes was playing dangerously as well. In the show, you recall Tori was ready to smash Sam pretty hard. That was in seasons 2 and 3. Though most especially in season 3, we had some fights to the death. First Ponytail was killed when they were captured. The snake pit fights of Vietnam are where people were actually killed in a karate fight. The original soldier and then Captain Turner by Kreese. This was immediately followed by Kreese ready to kill Johnny until Daniel saved him. Then Daniel was ready to stab Kreese until Sam and Miguel showed up. So we have certainly had some fights where the stakes were high and death was on the line. And one thing we already know about season five. Hey, whoa, no, 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 I didn't mean literally cut his head off. Chosen is going all the way. He's not afraid. But what about the story? Would it make a good story? I think so for a few reasons. In my awesome and short trailer breakdown video, I made some comparisons to Rocky IV. I noted how the expanding Cobra Kai dojos felt like the Soviets in Rocky IV. They had all the money and technology. They're big and unstoppable. But there's another important part of Rocky IV. It involves Apollo Creed. Now, as you remember, Apollo was Rocky's nemesis from the first two movies, but in the third one, they became friends. He helped train and coach Rocky to take back the championship. It was the end of Rocky III that had the memorable rematch. So after the former enemies buried their differences and triumphed as friends, then Apollo fought Ivan Drogo and died. You can see the immediate parallels to Daniel and Chosen. They were former rivals. They made up. Chosen even helped train Daniel the way Apollo trained Rocky. Now before I go even further, I want to make one thing clear. As we use comparisons to Rocky or Karate Kid movies, it doesn't mean the story will match plot beat by plot beat. What does match is the vibe and maybe the theme. It's the ideas that line up. So that doesn't mean Chosen is going to die at the beginning of Season 5 just because Apollo died at the beginning of Rocky IV. In fact, you can be certain it will be very different. However, Chosen dying would have a lot of the same feelings and tones as Rocky IV. That's the connection. Chosen is not going to die to establish Terry Silver as a dangerous fighter. We already know that. He would likely have a heroic death in which he wins the fight, but afterwards does succumb to his wounds. Since we know the finale will be insanity, yet again, that stands to reason. We also know there's a good chance Terry Silver will be gone at the end of the season based on the hints dropped by Robert Mark Kamen last year. So imagine this finale. Silver is fighting Chosen and it's crazy. It's a top tier fight like you haven't seen before. Then in a no mercy rage, Silver fires some crippling Quicksilver moves. Chosen is down, almost out. But then, just before he falls, he puts in an awesome Miyagi-Do move that takes out Silver. Silver is gone, but tragically, Chosen dies as well. While a death like that would be sad, it would be a fitting end for Chosen. His whole life has been dedicated to earning back his honor. He would die doing just that. It would be a very fitting end for him. You would never refer to Chosen as the bad guy again. Even the villain's wiki would have to take him off their website. He's no longer a villain. He's the opposite. Chosen Taguchi is a hero. It also makes sense for the show. The creators have said season five is not the end. They are planning a season six and possibly even a season seven. Chosen can't stay in the forefront forever. This is still a show about Johnny and Daniel. So dying off is a good way for his story to conclude without any weird questions like, why is he going back to Okinawa with work still to be done in the valley? 
It's also worth noting this makes Daniel the sole heir of Miyagi-Do Karate, at least in spirit. He will be the last one trained directly from a Miyagi. That is if you don't count Sam. Perhaps Daniel could inherit the Miyagi artifacts, which maybe should have gone to him anyway, since they belonged or should have belonged to Mr. Miyagi. So what do you think? Will Chosen go out in a blaze of redemptive glory and reclaim his honor? Or will something else happen? Leave a comment and let me know. Be sure you're subscribed. There's a lot more Cobra Kai coming up. Have a great day. I'll see you at the next watch party.